I want to make it abundantly clear that this TikTok account, Toxicity, is in no way connected to Jackie Overton. It is not run by, affiliated, or associated with Jackie Overton. Other TikTok channels have made the accusation that this account is in some way associated with Jackie Overton, which, in my opinion, is extremely damaging, discrediting, and further victimizes those who have already been affected by the situation. This TikTok was created to give a voice to those who have been silenced for years, and in my opinion, it is extremely irresponsible to use your platform to discredit those who are finally able to speak up. Baby, there's no giving up aloud on my watch, okay? I'm here, and I'm where I'm taking steps to you. You're what I want. You're what I need. You're what my life is. We knew that this was the case when we got into this. We both knew this. And I don't want to ruin you or ruin me, your business or my business. And I know that's what we're taking care of. We're doing things the ways that we are, okay? Things will work out. Just hang in there with me, okay? I love you very much. I know yesterday was a rough day. I'm here for you today, okay? I need you to call me. I need you to make yourself available to me, okay? You were so sweet yesterday when we were talking in the afternoon when I had my little temper tantrum with you. Thank you for that. Nobody has ever done that and been there and told me how much they loved me after or something <laughs> like that. He's always pushing me away or walking away from me. There is nobody that is underage on this TikTok account. In my opinion, it's whoever is the most compliant and whoever is the most moldable. In my opinion, that has a lot to do with the ages. In my opinion, it was in fact Mary. In my opinion, it was not for altruistic reasons. In my opinion, since 2008, there were already problems within that relationship. Oh gosh, no. In my opinion, this rumor needs to stop. In my opinion, you can be a person with flaws. But no, 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 gosh, no. There's a little bit of good in everybody. In my opinion, let me put it this way. If you're thinking about getting a babysitter, in my opinion, it would be wise to take all of the locks off the doors in your home before the babysitter gets there. In my opinion, it's called compartmentalizing. Oh, God, yes. 
In my opinion, he has a relationship with many of his adult children. In my opinion, things can be bad, but you can still have a relationship. In my opinion, a little birdie told me that Mary has a social media presence on Facebook and on Instagram. I guess I speak and people think I'm drunk. Block. That's weird. That is so inappropriate. This is so inappropriate. Oh, look what Carrie William just, Williamson just said. She's so smart. You might want to pay attention to what Carrie Williamson just said. That's what most people think, Matthew. I just know how to have a lot of fun without drinking. I'm sorry you don't. You should try it sometime. <laughs> you know what's really funny to me is all these internet sleuths, they think they know what our lives are like. They think they know Mary. They think they know me. Well, guess what? <laughs> You're wrong. You're all wrong. Not even one of you can manage to get it right. TLC, Mary, the Brown family, they all showed you exactly what they wanted to show you. Of course, it wouldn't look good for Mary if she was a cheater. It wouldn't look good for Mary if she had an affair. It wouldn't look good for polygamy if the wives were out looking for other men. It wouldn't look good for Cody if his wives weren't fulfilled. Do you know how gullible you have to be to believe that this woman was catfished? She's not stupid. Mary is not stupid. They wanted so desperately to hold on to that show. They wanted to continue the facade of a happy family even though everything was falling apart around them. And you all believed it. Mary was not catfished. This was all a plotline for the show. Robin was never going to be a surrogate for Mary. Mary never planned to have another child. She couldn't have another child. All of the IVF appointments were fake. It was just for the show. People like to blame Cody for them not having another child, not going through with the IVF, but in reality, it was really never on the table to begin with. I'll tell you this, Mary has a big mouth. She has a hard time staying quiet, and she has told many people this. She didn't want more kids. I'm sure I'll get in trouble for this one, but she didn't like kids. Mary is way too selfish to be a parent. She was really ready to do her own thing when Leon left. Robin was just playing along with the storyline, really didn't have much to do with it. See, what you have to understand is that Mary views children as an inconvenience. There's just another thing in her life that gets in the way of her own wants and needs and goals. And don't get me wrong, there are a few children in her life currently, but they're just things, objects, that she's using to get her closer to her own goal. And inevitably, at some point, they will no longer be useful to her, and she will discard them. More will come out soon about the experiences of family members inside of the Brown homes. There were five adults in this situation that all were either a part or witness to what was going on in those homes, and it's all gonna come out. <laughs> it was really the only way to handle the situation without completely ruining the show and losing all of the money from the show. Mary was not catfished. I didn't expect this TikTok to blow up so fast. I feel like I need to clarify a few things. This is a collaborative effort. There are several of us here. We each have our own unique insights into what happened, our own opinions, and our own stories to tell. We started this TikTok about a week ago and we heavily focused on Mary. And as you can see from Peyton's interview, there was information that was going to be told about that situation. This is not a coincidence. We are here 
we're going to tell our truths. I'm sure that we're going to make people mad. But we're all tired of being silenced. This is just the beginning. More will come out within the next few weeks. Mary has been separate from a family for years and years and years. There were a lot of rifts, and in 2008 it got really, really bad. She has never helped with any of the children. She really had no desire to be a part of the family, to be a part of the other wives' lives, to be a part of the children's lives. I don't, I don't know how else to say it than she just, she was gone. She was just gone. In my opinion, we hide our voices in an attempt to mitigate risk. We all, in one way or another, have been told to keep our mouths shut. We all feel we will suffer varying degrees of retaliation for speaking out. Please know that this is not solely about the Browns. Think about the larger picture here. It's more all-encompassing, broader, think bigger. In my opinion, there are very few assets that are still attached to Cody and Robin from the other wives. In my opinion, there are few to no transactions between any of the wives or Cody. In my opinion, there was a period of time where they were safe and happy and healthy. In my opinion, the less adults that were home the more comfortable that the children felt. In my opinion, for many years, each household felt like a normal family. In my opinion, the marriages were not all dysfunctional marriages. In my opinion, a lot of the people involved led fairly normal lives. In my opinion, they are equals. In my opinion, they are extremely similar people. In my opinion, they work very, very well together. In my opinion, as far as vulnerability goes, if I had to choose, I would say Robin. In my opinion, no, because he doesn't see the error in his ways. In my opinion, he often thinks he is the only one that is right in the room. In my opinion, he will fight until he is blue in the face, even if clear evidence is presented to him that he is wrong. In my opinion, he has become very bitter and self-centered. In my opinion, Robin makes a lot of purchases both in stores and online, most of which she does not take out of the boxes or bags that she gets them in. In my opinion, those boxes and bags accumulate in hallways and in the kitchen area of her home. In my opinion, every two weeks before filming begins again, the family and the nanny both help her to clean. In my opinion, let me be very clear. A select few children were always safe with Mary, but the other children, it was bad. It was so bad. Once there was cameras in the homes, things changed a lot. And remember, these cameras followed people. There were other people watching. In my opinion, there have been very few instances where Robin has been directly confronted by anyone in the family. In my opinion, most of the family go through a middleman to address any issues. Good morning, baby. Your tweet. I just want to tell you, please don't give up. Keep your promise to me. Keep your promise to us. I'm not going anywhere. I make a step. Okay? I'm here and I love you. And if you love me, and if I love you, I think that if it can be fine, even though it's really hard, I understand that. See? Don't give up. Baby, I love you very much. You know, it was a crappy day yesterday. I you know you're frustrated. I know you don't feel like I'm doing anything, but I am. I swear to you, I am. 
Okay. Happy anniversary today. Two months. <laughs> Two months since we started talking. Since we started having that amazing connection. I believe it was there, and I think you believe it was there. Two months is such a drop in the bucket of our life, okay? It really is. Just the beginning. I know it's crazy, but it's okay. We can, we can do this. We can get through this. Just don't get off on me, okay? I love you very much. Well, it's 8.30 now, and we've been answering questions for about an hour and a half. So I think we're going to log off now. Remember to be kind in the comments.